and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Wednesday the 24th of August. We've just been listening to the hymn As Now the Sun's Declining Rays. This evening our worship comes not from a river but from the banks of the Hythe Military Canal and we are in the parish of Appledore quiet calm of the canal brings us now to our opening prayer. Let the light fade and the work be done. Let the flowers and the laptops close. Let the sun go down and the world become still. And let the Son of God draw near. Blessed be all creation for all life comes from you. In the name of the restful Father, in the name of the calming Son, in the name of the peaceful Spirit, may we and God be one. Our reading and reflection this evening have the title, Wild Swimming. Look at Zion, city of our festivals. Your eyes will see Jerusalem, an undisturbed abode of immovable tent. Its stakes will never be pulled up, nor will any of its ropes be broken. But there the Lord in majesty will be for us our source of broad rivers and streams, where no galley with oars can go where no stately ship can sail. For the Lord is our judge, and the Lord is our lawgiver, and the Lord is our king, and it is he who will save us. Thanks be to God. The reflection that we are going to listen to this evening has been written by Sally Welch. Sally writes, I learnt how to swim in a river. I think this was perhaps because my mother learnt to swim in the sea, making her way across the small bay near her childhood home, often unwittingly out of her depth and usually rather cold. After such an experience, I suspect she felt the normal swimming pool plus instructor was somehow cheating and that nature was the best teacher. So keeping my mouth firmly shut and my shoes on, I first paddled and then swam in rivers and lakes in this country and abroad. And I have never lost my enthusiasm for what is now called wild swimming. To submerge oneself in water when the sun is beating down overhead, feeling the strength of the current, the changes in temperature, to float idly downstream and battle one's way back up is a source of great joy. The image of God as a source of broad rivers and streams offering us intense refreshment, challenge and delight and resonate not just with those of us who plunge right into rivers and lakes, but for all of us who take delight in feeling fresh water trickling through our fingers or dripping, dipping our toes into ponds, streams and canals. This metaphor is made more powerful by the sense of protection we are given in the invulnerability of the rivers and streams We cannot be attacked by our enemies as they cannot reach us if we are immersed in the Lord. We can put our whole trust in him alone as he surrounds us with the power of his love. Lord, let the refreshing waters of your love surround us and protect us this night. Help us to put our faith in you our Saviour. Amen.
and now I invite you to join with me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your love for us, strong and nurturing. We give back our lives to you. Thank you for our minds and bodies. We give back our lives to you. Thank you for the past day. We give back our lives to you. After creation, God rested. We give back our lives to you. Protect us, Lord, through the hours of this night, be they silent or stormy that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of a restless world may rest upon you eternally. You created the world out of love. Now we return to you in love. Let us rest in God this night and awake in newness of life. Amen.